before I get started, I want to note that Korra and Venari are not designed so poorly that they're useless. Nor am I implying that they need a rework faster than other frames. I know she can be useful. I know one can use a Disposition 5 riven stat stick of a melee to deal nonsensical damage to relive Exalted Weapon 1.0 dependencies. I know you can ensnare Whipclaw, Strangle Dome Whipclaw, or ensnare and please god Venari prioritizing ensnared enemies so that I don't have to switch stances and make you. Not to mention the legendary having two Kavats on top of Hunter Recovery on top of Healbot stance. Even with all that, I have to say that they're terrible in design, mainly because there's a synergy lacking between Korra and Venari. Now, it's possible that the Almighty Pets 2.0 turns Kubros and Kavats into competent companions, but I don't think it'll save the underlying problem. I don't think it's needed to. Look, Korra was a victim of being tied to a broken, skewed damage system and having to be rebirthed like a phoenix that has an essay due in two hours. I don't mean to hyperbolize. Again, she is not so bad that she's useless. I just think the dependence on pet AI could have been alleviated in the first place. If Venari, like a true part of the Warframe, took action in Korra's abilities. And we don't see the forms affect Korra at all. Now you don't want every single ability to have some effect to it because then it might just be way too much micromanagement. But let's look at the bread and butter, Whip Claw. For example, in attack form, let's say Korra's whip follows recast methods similar to Valkyr's ripline and Atlas's punch. You know, you get that increased damage and decreased cost, whatever. But also, when cast, Venari teleports to the location and swipes in an arc at the enemies in a radius, or rolls and slams to damage enemies in the radius, or just guarantees slash procs on the slashes and enemies in the radius. You know, something in conjunction with Korra's attack. In defense form, you could have Korra's whip claw deal less damage, but have Venari teleport and tail whip in an AoE to disarm enemies hit. Passively, Venari should set up a parameter around Korra, tail whipping in an arc, enemies that come into range every few seconds. As for heal form, you can have the damage somewhere between attack and defense, or lower than defense, but give it lifesteal. And when used, allow Korra and Venari to release a burst of regeneration around them, probably based on the number of enemies hit or damage dealt. And then also, passively along with her healing aura, Venari should attempt to revive downed allies. And Snare actually isn't that bad. I think my only problem with it is that Venari doesn't prioritize ensnared enemies, nor can she spread or propagate ensnare when she attacks or kills enemies under the effect. I kinda wanna see them do something with ensnare to allow Korra to chain enemies behind her. You know, get that BDSM fantasy frame up to a thousand. It also wouldn't hurt to see it as an AoE because Venari could get that AoE as well. Part of the reason why I want Ensnare to have that different purpose is because I feel like Strangle Dome should have one been spherical and two been able to compress. So in compressed form, you're not pulling in enemies, but they're just so easy to whip claw. They would not have ever needed to do the whole split damage thing if the dome compressed like almost like larva, except I don't know, let it grow in range when you kill enemies in it. It's something. Okay, fully changing the functionality of Ensnare and Strangle Dome are a stretch. Primarily giving Venari action in Whip Claw, allowing Venari to support with Ensnare, either spreading it on attack or casting it around her, giving attack and defense stance better passive effects for Venari, and influence on Korra with Whip Claw. These, in my opinion, would make them a more wholesome and united team of a Warframe. But, of course, it's not the only way to go about it. Just the way that I would take a crack at it.